Hello YouTube, I'm back with my doily and um, we'll be starting row, oh my goodness, I lost count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so we're starting uh, row nine, um, I don't have my nails on, which I'm thankful for, because I, now I can do more things, my daughter actually did my nails the other day, um, I'll put a link on her tutorial on the description box. Um, it's coming off because I do a lot of dishes. So um, they're not as pretty as they were when she made them, but um, did them. But anyways, um, so uh, we're going to start row nine. And my next color is white. So I already thread my needle. At this point, I think that you already know your your size thread needle. Um, I usually just use size uh, thread 10, cotton uh, size 10, and then needle 5 or 3. It depends what you've been using. Um, okay, so we're going to start. Let me put my dolly aside. We're not going to need it right now. And we're going to start with, um, let me get closer. Uh, we're going to start with 10 double stitches. And pico, 7 double stitches. Um, before I go on, um, I didn't leave a long, like really long tail on, but a lot of people, um, have mentioned that, um, they rather add, um, more thread than have a long tail. So it just depends on what you want to do. Uh, let's do a pico and three double stitches. making a ring so close your ring and make a, a reverse your work sorry reverse your work make a little knot took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do for row nine because um, like I said in the last video getting harder and harder as the doily gets bigger. We're gonna do a, um, uh, let me look at my notes real quick. Uh, okay, we're gonna do another ring. And we shouldn't uh, reverse our work, I'm sorry. Sorry, we're not reversing. Sorry about that. So, uh, cause we're gonna join to that Pico right there. So ring, don't reverse, and then we're gonna start another ring. Sorry about that. Of three double stitches. Okay, and then we're gonna join to that pico. So 10 double stitches, pico, 7, pico, and then 3. Don't reverse your work. And then next ring is 3 double stitches, and then join. And then 7 double stitches. And most of our rings are going to be working with either 10 double stitches or 7 pico 
or three seven that total of ten so ten double stitches I mean seven oh my goodness what's wrong with me today so six more for a total of seven pico three double stitches and then close your ring I went the wrong way. Make the loop smaller so I know where I'm going. Okay. So, this is what we have so far. Two rings together. Now we reverse our work. Sorry. Sorry about the beginning. And we're going to make a small chain of six double stitches oops six not seven six Finish the chain, reverse your work, and we're going to do another ring with the same amount of double stitches our, as our previous ring, which is three double stitches. Join. Seven double stitches. Pico. Seven double stitches. Pico, three double stitches. Close the ring. Just like that. And don't reverse your work. So I don't know if you can tell already, we're making two rings together and then a chain. And now we're gonna make two rings together again. So we're gonna have three sets of those. One, two, and then another set. So um, three double stitches. Join. Three double stitches, I mean seven. Seven. Pico. Seven double stitches. Pico. Three double stitches. Okay, now we're going to close our ring, and 
just like that and now we're gonna reverse after the second ring you reverse your work we're gonna make another little chain of six double stitches Okay. Finish up your chain. Reverse your work. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now we're going to make two more rings. So we're going to call this one our cluster we're making a little cluster three double stitches join seven double stitches Pico, seven double stitches, Pico, three double stitches. Okay, we're going to close our ring. just like this and let's make a little knot and let's make another ring and then join to our previous pico Seven double stitches. So this is a, just a repetition. All the rings except the first one and the last one. You're not going to start with the pico after the three double stitches. You're just going to make the ten. So... We're at our last ring of our cluster, so we're going to have two, four, six rings in our cluster. So for this last, um, this last part of our ring, we're just going to have ten double stitches. So... Just like that. Let's close our ring. And this is, like I said, the last ring of our cluster. Okay, so we're going to be working a small cluster. So now we're going to reverse our work. reverse so wrong <laughs> it happens okay now we're gonna make a um, we're gonna make a, a big chain sorry so we're gonna make a big chain of first six double stitches so six double stitches. Pico. Ten double stitches. OK. 
okay so now we're gonna grab our doily all right here's our doily and we're gonna join to this pico right here okay not this one this one if you join over here it's not gonna work so you gotta join to this one and then we're gonna go around and then we're gonna end up here okay so we're gonna um, <clears throat> join to the middle pickle Okay, just like this, sorry. Now that we join, we're going to make 10 double stitches. Okay, finish the chain. Got stuck. Just like that. Okay, reverse your work. I'm gonna flip my whole Doily around. Okay. Do a little knot. Now our clusters on our left. And now we're going to do three double stitches. join um, hold on. papers are flying um, seven double stitches Pico, seven double stitches, Pico, three double stitches. Let's close our ring. And we're going to reverse our work, however you are able to do it. <laughs> okay. Make a little knot underneath. I know it's kind of hard to reverse your work when it's attached to your doily. But at this, uh, I know by now you guys are all pros are this. <laughs> so now we're going to do another chain of... Five double stitches. Pico. Five double stitches. Pico. Five double stitches. Okay, now we're going to join to this chain to the middle pico. Okay. 
Okay. Five double stitches. Pico. Five double stitches. Pico. Five double stitches. Okay. This is what we have so far. Okay. Finish up the chain. Just like that. Reverse your work. Make a little knot. And now we're going to make another ring. Okay. Of three double stitches. We're going to join to our previous pico on our previous ring. Just like that. Seven double stitches. Pico, seven double stitches, Pico, three double stitches, okay, let me show you what we have so far. In case I'm going too fast, let's close this ring. Let's just close it and then we'll take a look at our work so far. Okay, and we're gonna reverse our work. Make a little knot, just like that. Okay, so let me see what we have so far. Okay, so this is our cluster that we're going to keep making after this set of rings over here. You'll see in a minute. Okay, and now we're going to join our next chain. To that to this chain I didn't starch my work yet so all my pickles are crawling okay so this is what we have so far okay okay now we're gonna start another chain the same five double stitches the same as the previous one pico five double stitches pico five double stitches okay now we're going to join to our next chain, the middle pico, just like that. Okay. Now 
now five double stitches pico five double stitches one more pico and five more double stitches Okay, finish up the chain. Just like that. Reverse your work. Make a little knot. Okay. Now we're going to make another ring. Okay, but now the next ring is going to be two rings, kind of like what we did over here. Kind of like this one right here. It's going to be a little different. So let's start with um, three double stitches. And then we're going to join um, seven double stitches. Okay. And then for this ring, we're going to make a small pico. If I can move this out the way. Okay, small pico, medium pico, another small pico, and seven double stitches. Let me move my camera this way away from the sun. Okay, pico, three double stitches. Okay, close your ring. And we're not going to reverse for this one. So just make a small knot at the end. Three double stitches. Pico. I mean, join, sorry. Join to the previous pico. Oops, there's a bee on my ear. <laughs> okay. Seven double stitches. Okay, now a small pico, medium pico, small pico, seven double stitches. Pico, three double stitches. Okay, 
close the ring. Now we're going to reverse our work. Okay. Don't get stuck. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, now let me make sure that my doily is looking the way I want it to look. Okay, now we're going to do another chain of five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches, pico, five double stitches, okay, now we're going to join to another chain from our previous row. So let's join in the middle pico. Okay. Just like that. Now let's do um five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches, pico, and five double stitches. Oh, sorry, I ran out of room on my memory card, but um, we did three double stitches and then we join, and then we're gonna do seven double stitches. And then a pico, seven double stitches, okay, pico, three double stitches. Close our ring. Reverse your work. And we're going to do another chain. Let me just move my doily the right way. Just still. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Just checking out my work. <laughs> Five double stitches. Pico. Five double stitches. Pico. Five double stitches. Now we're going to join to the next chain to the middle pico. So every time you get closer to this part right here, that's where you're going to make your um, cluster. Okay? Five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches, pico, five.
by double stitches. Okay. Finish up the chain. Just like that. Reverse your work. So let me see. We have one more ring. Three double stitches. Join. Seven double stitches. Pico. Three double stitches. No, sorry, seven. Two. Pico, three double stitches. Okay, close your ring. Oops, I missed my loop. <laughs> oh, not good. It's okay, I'm just gonna go at the end. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to reverse our work. Okay. Let me look at my, sorry, I'm a twisting in my doily. And let's look at our pattern. Okay. Now for this one, I'm looking at it, and if you want to go higher, if you want to add more double stitches, if you don't like that so close to it, you can do that because you kind of lose that. If you don't, that's fine. I'm going to leave it like that. I'll pull it a little more when, um, a little more in that picos so it stretches out a little higher when I starch it so I'm just stretching out my stitches you can pull a little bit so now we're gonna do another chain There we go. Okay. This one I pulled it too much. So they're not the same size. Like I said, it was a little hard to make this pattern. Just because it's getting so big. And I don't like to copy people. <laughs> So coming up with another pattern is kind of hard. Okay, so now we're gonna do another chain. And that's gonna be 10 double stitches. And then we're gonna join. We're gonna join to this part. Middle pico, just like that. And then 10 double stitches. So 
sorry, okay. <sighs> oh, helicopter, not airplane, helicopter. Okay, Pico. And six double stitches. Okay, now finish up the chain, so this is the chain that we didn't do to start our pattern, so so this chain should have, that's how we're going to end up, that's how we're going to finish our our um, doily so we'll be joining a chain like this here okay so we're gonna reverse our work and I'm gonna make this last cluster with you and then after that you just have to repeat everything okay uh, let's see. Let me see over here. Let me just check this one over here. Uh, three double stitches. No, sorry. Not three. Seven. Seven double stitches. No, not seven. Sorry. 10 double stitches 10 because every time you start the first ring in your cluster you start with 10 10 so every time you start the first ring on your cluster is 10 and then you join to the previous just like that then now you do seven double stitches pico three double stitches okay Close your ring. I gotta pull my tail out more. Okay, so do not reverse your work. Remember, you reverse after the second ring. So, three double stitches. Pico, I mean, join. Seven double stitches. Pico. Seven double stitches. Three double three. I mean pico. Sorry, I'm distracted by the burr. I have grapes on. I have grapes on top of me, and <laughs> these birds are coming to eat them. And sorry, pico. Three double stitches. Okay. Now let's close your ring. Okay, so now we did this part of our cluster, the first, the first set of rings right here. And then reverse your work. Let's make a chain of six double stitches.
six. Reverse your work. Another ring. Three double stitches. So for this one, these two rings, remember they're a little different. Oh no, not this ones. Sorry. It's a little long pattern. It's a little confusing at first. But once you get it in your head, it should go faster. Okay. So three double stitches, join, seven double stitches, pico, seven double stitches, Pico, three double stitches. Okay, let's close the ring. We're now reversing our work. One more ring. Three double stitches. Join. Seven double stitches. Pico. Seven double stitches. Hold on, I did something wrong. Pico, seven double stitches. Pico, three double stitches. Now we're gonna reverse our work. Okay, sorry about that. We said that uh, we were gonna make another chain, right? We got two rings together, chain, and two rings together. Now we're making the chain of six double stitches. My camera keeps running out of memory because I'm, I'm videotaping in HD, so the video quality is better for you guys. But um, it takes a lot of data, so it takes a lot of memory from my uh, SD card. So six double stitches. Okay, reverse your work. I'm gonna make another ring. Three double stitches. And you know, there's something like that you don't like in the pattern and you like to change it, just go for it, you know, uh, have fun with it. Um, be, you know, just, just have fun with it. Seven double stitches. Pico. Seven double stitches. Pico, three double stitches. Okay. Now we're gonna close our ring 
and we are not going to reverse our work. And we're about to make the last ring on our cluster. Okay. Three double stitches. Pico. I mean, join. Why do I keep saying pico? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um... Seven double stitches. Pico. Ten double stitches. Okay, close your ring, and reverse your work, come on, sorry, got twisted there for a minute. Okay, so let's look at our pattern now. Where I go? There it is. <laughs> okay. So we started with our cluster, right? These birds are out to get these grapes. I'll give you I'll show you in a minute my grapes on top of my, my head right now. So you can see. Um, so we started our pattern with our cluster, right? And now we made another cluster over here. So we made our cluster chain one, two, one, two rings, and then two together, two rings, and then uh, two together. So now you're going to make this is the last part I'm going to do with you because after this chain you start again on with this ring okay so you're going to do you're going to go let me see you make sure I'm not doing something wrong okay you're going to do Sorry, like this because I always join to the left, so I'm gonna grab my work like this. You're gonna do six double stitches, join. You're gonna join to the pico from the first the change we made before our cluster. Okay. And this is why I continue showing you the pattern because we didn't do this part before. Okay. Now we're gonna do ten double stitches. Okay, and now we're going to join to our previous row, to this chain, to the middle pico, just like that. So we join to this one, and then now we're going to join to our doily, right? Ten double stitches. Ok. 
Okay. So here it is, our pattern. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. So this will be our cluster, right? This will be our main, main thing, main thing in our row. You know, this is what's supposed to look. Uh, just be more. I don't know what to say. I my words are. <laughs> are not coming to me today so that's our um, doily right there so continue doing that you know your next thing is the ring and then chain ring chain and then ring and like I said for this one if you like you can um, you can make it longer so that maybe that will help with the stain but I'm just gonna leave it like that it's not a big deal to me um, let me go ahead and show you um, the grapes and um, if you wanna do these ombre nails that my daughter did for me she actually put a small tutorial she's so cute <laughs> well of course I can say that because she's my daughter Oh wait! Before I forget, don't, uh, just keep going around until you come to the uh, to the end, and then um, I come back and show you what to do. And also, I will show you the grapes at the end of the video. And just keep chatting. Okay, so I finished all my almost all my rows, and um, I connected my last ring right here, so I still have this space. And this space is where I'm going to put the last chain of uh, six double stitches, ten, ten, and then join, and then six. Okay, so let me flip it and show you. This is the first cluster that we did right here. Okay, and then I did this ring, and then I joined, I joined to, to the to this one and then to this one no I'm sorry to this one and then to this one um, now I'm gonna make a the, the chain and um, gotta go this way okay cuz you always join to the left so my thread went in the back which is fine because it's the end of it so I'm just gonna pull it through and then we're gonna do 10 double stitches okay and then we're gonna join right here just like that and then 10 double stitches Okay, and then it's gonna be a little tricky, but it's okay because at the end we'll just cut our thread and it will be okay because it's our last part. Now we're gonna join to the chain, to the pico, I'm sorry, to the pico. Like that. 
Okay. And it's always tricky when you're finishing, especially on these parts where you have something that you have to connect. My nails are so bad now. I gotta get them at the nail polish removed. Um, 10 double stitches. Okay, so finish up that chain real quick, just like this, oop, I got stuck, did it, mm, yeah, right there, come on. Did I get it? Yes, I think I got it. Yep. I think I got it. Let me see. Let me put it down. Oh, good. Oops, sorry, you can't see it. So I'm putting it down. And I'm going to actually cut the thread that's coming from the ball so I can join because I'm not going to need it anymore. Okay. And then I'm done with my ball thread. So I'm just moving it out of the way. And look, I almost used all my white thread. So then, now that we got rid of the ball thread, it's going to be easier for us to join. So then we're going to join, don't forget your little knot, right, and you don't have to really reverse, if, you can reverse if you want at the end, but it's just the last part, um, you can if you want, and it's, it's kind of hard, especially in this tight spot right now. So then, this was very tricky right here. This ring, the one that connected, remember we started with the cluster, this was kind of hard. So, we're gonna join to the ring to finish up. And while I'm doing this, I want to apologize. Uh, I don't know why YouTube sent my video ahead of time. Um, I upload my videos in clips, so every time I stop, I upload it. So at the end, I can just create one video. And YouTube decided to send it to my subscribers, which I didn't really like, want it. Um, maybe it was on my, my, my part, I don't know, but, um, I apologize for those that got in, uh, you know, saying that I uploaded a new video. So here it is. Oh, you know what? I did 10 over here. It's only six. I said, why is it looking funny? Okay, I'm sorry. So it's 10, 10, and then six. I'm gonna have to undo it. Hold on. Okay, that was close. So yeah, it was six. So I un I undid. Um, now let me join again. Sorry about that. Glad I catched it. So then we're gonna go right at the bottom of our ring, our first ring that we did in our in our. Um, for I do doily soon and then like I said make like a couple of knots to secure it and then weave in your ends but you're a pro by now on how to weave in those ends so I'm just gonna do it real quick 
and then um, real quick. Okay. And that is our I'll weave in the other one later. Okay, so let me show you what we have. Okay, and I'm gonna go starch it and then I'll take a picture of it. Okay. And now I will show you my grapes. So these are my grapes on top of my head when I'm recording. The birds are trying to eat them all the time. Thank you so much for watching my video. And please let me know what you think. Send me a message. Um, you can send me a message on Facebook too and share your picture with me of the doilies um, that you have made and any project that you have made with my um, tutorials. Please subscribe and like my video. Um, if you like, of course, I don't like saying it that much, but you know, if you want to get updates on um, new videos, that's the best thing to do. Subscribe and then you'll get a notification when I upload videos. Thank you so much for watching and happy chatting.